All right, what's up everyone? We got a good video today. If you follow the pro tour, you know that the first major of the year is Champions Cup and it's out at Northwood Black in Peoria, Illinois. And that is exactly where I am. Came out just a few days before, just to play before the pro tour kind of takes over. I'm gonna play from the blacks and uh, we're basically just gonna see uh, new changes. If there is any, I don't, I'm not hundred percent sure if there is uh, and basically how bad I get bodied. So. Let's get into it. All right, so I drove about six hours to get here. I'm going no, no warm up. I just wanna see just raw what's gonna to happen to me. We've also got uh, Greg Barsby on the card in front of us. So that's pretty cool. I saw Owen Scoggins playing. I really don't know if I'm supposed to be out here now, but no one stopped me and uh, we're gonna roll with it. All right, so like I said, we're playing Northwoods Black. We're playing from the long tees, the pro tees. Uh, hole one here is already brutal. 455, tight tunnel wooded shot. Uh, we got OB left. You got a hill right that's fine, but it's pretty much jail over there. So you just want to throw something straight as you possibly can. I'm going to go forehand on both, which is what I would do anyways, probably. But just to get something that my miss is going to be left somewhere. I just want to avoid OB at all costs. I don't think I'm going to shoot well here obviously. I'm going to try to shoot below 18 up. So 17 up and below is a win for me. Also, so I can go ahead and make this excuse now. Uh, I'm coming off. I just drove six hours to get here. Uh, literally got out of the car, put some pants on because it's cold and I'm starting. No warm. I did like maybe 30 arm circles, but no warm up. Get off that. Oh, all right, that was actually pretty good. Uh, two off the top. Get around everything. Skip. Oh my gosh, I just dug in there. That's all right though. All right, throwing that tee shot honestly makes you appreciate how good these guys are and ladies are at hitting gaps because that's, to get birdie on this hole, that's that's unreal. Not I'm not saying I should be birdie in this hole, but that's like, I'm saying there's no chance I could ever birdie this hole unless I got crazy lucky. All right, first one was, got kicked up the hill. Second one, not bad. In the middle of the fairway, just a little short. I threw it kind of low, but that's all right. So we just got a little pitch up here for hopefully a three. Oh, that's gonna have to scoot some. Oh, nothing like a tester to start the round. All right, this is gonna set the tone of the day. Brand new putter in hand. Exo hard link. All right. All right, bogey is definitely not how we wanted to start that. Uh, plus one through one, hole two, 280 foot par four. It looks like it's another tight tunnel. It's just wooded golf out here, which is crazy how wooded it is. Looks like you probably got like 300, 350 to kind of a landing zone. And then it's just to the right. This would be one if I could throw a good shot off the tee, I, I can might get a birdie, but gotta throw a good shot off the tee to start. I think we're gonna go pink guy on just a touch of Anheuser. Uh, I'm now remembering this hole. Straight is premium. It's like straight and then it's like down the hill, I think. Uh, so off the fairway is absolutely brutal on this one. All right, definitely off the fairway. I'm right there. The basket is down and around, kind of down there. So I'm just going to pitch out. Actually, I'm looking, I kind of have a little gap here to get a little further down. I just got to hit it. It's a little bigger than some of these. Yeah, that's going to be really nice. Sit down. All right, we're back in the middle. Birdie's probably out of the question. Can still get a par. It's funny, I threw that thinking I knew exactly what I was doing. As soon as it was out of my hands and skipped, I remember like just watching on coverage. I'm like, ah, that is not at all where you want to go. But made up for it with a good second. I would like to say fairly easy upshot here, but I said that on hole one and uh, wasn't great. So just gonna try to get this one down there. Might actually take a little run up. We're getting a par, baby. Yeah, I'm remembering now, this is the hole that I think Drew Gibson threw in like on his second from like pretty much where my second was, or actually I guess it was my, yeah, where my third was, he threw in from here. And that's, 
insane. Up one through two. Right now I can bogey, single bogey the rest, and I'm exactly what I thought I was gonna do. So honestly, not a bad spot here. Hole three, it's a par five, 947 feet. It's a long one. It looks like it's straight with a kind of gradual dog left to the right, and then it kind of straightens back out to the left. There's a whole lot going on. Oh, it looks like it is. Straight, little bend to the right, hard dog leg left. So I want to point out too, Greg Barsby and another guy, I didn't see him, are playing in front of me. Greg lost a red disc on hole one, so you bet your butt. When I get done, I'm going back to hole one and I'm going to find that for him and give it back. I don't expect anything out of it. I just want to be the guy that maybe accounts for some of Greg Barsby's future success. All right. If you guessed forehand off the tee, you would be 100% right. There's one right in the middle, probably about 250 feet out that I just want to get right of, either on the left side or the right side. I just want it fading kind of there. Oh, it's going to be early. Uh, I did not see that skip or fall or anything. That one might have been too stable. I also threw it really low, really inside, so uh, a lot of things not great there. I don't hate how the disc is coming out of my hands. It's coming out hot. That one was just a little errant. All right, see, so this is where I could get in trouble early. I'm just off the fairway. I got a long ways to go. So I could try to be aggressive or I could play safe and try to get a five, but I think I'm gonna be like moderate to severe aggressive and do a little chip for it and just try to get a little further down the fairway. <sighs> get off that. Oh my gosh, yeah. All right, second shots are really good right now. First shots, last shots, eh. I just ran out in the fairway, do some recon. Realize the basket is like, like 60 degrees that way. You gotta go down and around and come back this way. So this is three. I gotta get all the way down there to even have par in question. If not, it's probably gonna be another bogey. All right, so I think so what's happening. I just put a champion X-Cal in the bag. I'm just gonna try to pump it hard and hit this gap. Let it fade and skip down the hill. See if we can't have some kind of shot into the green to get a, give us a par. Uh, geez, that might be short. So I might, I can, I can maybe get aggressive and go for the green, but I don't, I don't think that's gonna be possible. All right, so the basket is right there. I actually think. I got down far enough. I can make a play at the basket. I'm going to go pro beast, try to get hard and flat, maybe just a touch a turn. If not, something's going to dive back into the green here. Oh, all things considered, I actually have a, a nice open look. It's a long look, but it's an open one. This is for par, I believe. Fade. It's come to my attention that this layout is the Champions Cup layout. Checks out, that's what I came here for. However, it's not the same layout I'm doing on U-Disc. So the signs are off, I got lost a little bit. Hole four, 325 feet, little tunnel. Uh, it's probably a backhand that kind of turns and fades back or a forehand the other way. Tight, tight, tight shot here, so. Get off. Oh my gosh, what a kick. What a kick. That was the luckiest kick. I scared the basket probably way short of it, but it looked really close. Oh. Just missed probably my easiest chance at uh, birdie all day is what it is. Um, whole five here, 389. Tough shot, we got OB right off the tee, kind of like a reverse island almost, or kind of an island, I guess, but tight fairway, down into some mulch wall behind. I think there's OB, there's OB like all right. So just absolutely brutal. I'm just trying to throw something straight. That kind of gets, I think at the short pin or the FPO basket up to the left, it's ideal. There's a drop zone on this hole and I already know if my disc goes straight down here or actually anywhere, out of bounds probably, it's a goner, so. Really bad, oh boy. I just never had a chance of coming back. Ripped over on it so hard. I'm gonna go ahead and do my due diligence and at least giving it a look to see if I can get it, but 
so far down there, I, I think it's just gone. Bit unfortunate, because that was probably one of my furthest discs, but that's, I just looked, no chance. We're at the drop zone here. Just want to get something nice and easy up and down for bogey. If it gets off that tree, it's good. Yeah, we're all right. Look at that. Safe. Oh. Bogey there. Uh, it was a good bogey save though. I'll take that. Three up through five. Not ideal. I missed the birdie on four. That one bailed me out so much and I missed it. All right, so brings us to hole six, par four, 732. I just ran up the hill. If you can get clean, it's definitely a good forehand for me. Clean, something that fades to the right. And it's another kind of one of those same shots into the green. Would be nice. I say I want to get birdies. I do. I want at least one birdie today. I don't care where it comes. That one would have been great. I just want to get one birdie. Oh, get off that. Get around. We might be in a tad bit of business right there. Something a bit more stable or just not as much angle. If I would have thrown it a little flatter, maybe would have been really good. Actually, if I threw it flatter, probably would have hit that tree. Not as gone as far, but all right. Interesting spot here. Uh, just off the fairway, I could easily pitch up, get to the middle, maybe have like a big forehand into the green, but there's kind of a little sneaky gap. It's very gettable. That kind of pushes straight and then fades back. So I could get a little further. I think that's what I'm going to try. Just leave myself a shorter shot into the green. Let's we'll see what happens. <sighs> Got a dig though. Uh, that skipped, we're in trouble. If not, we're all right. All right, there's the basket. I got a tree kick back to the left. I thought I skipped out to the right, when in fact, I just didn't. Been throwing this guy a lot, been figuring it out. We're gonna go PA3 into the green. Oh, get up. A lot of meat left on that bone. Everyone always says the key to throwing putters is throw them high. And then what do I go do? Throw it straight into the ground. Great. All right, this would be a really good get. I don't want another bogey. This one was actually fairly easy. Oh, it's got to get up. Man, no commitment on it. Get it up. Oh, pulled it. He's done it. Finally. All right, I'll play that one really quick because Greg Barsby and Matt Bell are practicing and they threw a ton of shots and I just want to get out of the way. So I think I took a bogey there. Hole eight, par three, 400 feet. Should be a par, at least. That was really close. All right, it's funny. I'm just now realizing what each hole is. So this is one where, especially when there's leaves on the trees, they're just throwing this crazy low burning roller that hits these rocks or kind of curls around here. And then it's also where Simon made that like glitch, the air bounce like putt from there. Pretty sweet actually, kind of looking at it. This will be a nice little birdie here. Give me going in the right direction. Get up. Ah. Curl back. All right. All right. Ran up on another group. Super nice guys out here playing. They're locals. Uh, but that's hole nine, par four, 723 feet. I mean, it's a pretty tight fairway, but nothing like I haven't seen before. Actually, probably one of the easier holes on the course, to be honest with you. Turf that drive a little bit, but uh, be all right. I think we're actually going to go forehand again. Throw a similar shot, just higher. Oh, come back. Went really far, just OB. I still think forehand was the play on that hole. Just put a little too much Anheuser on it. Kind of trusted it a little too much. I should have stabled up, I think. But I'm trying to move quick to get out of these guys' way. And I'm gonna take it from about right here. That's where I went out, pitch out. I think this is gonna be for double. I get down. Just fine. All right, so 
So final course on the front nine. I'm six up. I definitely think had I not felt internal pressure to uh, make good shots, I think I could definitely be like four. Would've been nice, is what it is. <sighs> All right, hold 10, 722 feet. Just a gradual kind of dog leg to the left. <laughs> oh, get down. Ah, not like that. We're just gonna go straight mid here. Get us into a little good placement shot. <sighs> Everything's low. This one's definitely gonna be a five here, unfortunately. <sighs> Might be good. Short, probably going to pitch up. Through one in the ground, two in the ground, three. Here's four, so let's just get up and down for another bogey. It'll be all right. <sighs> Sit. Yeah. We're gonna be all right. I think I finally caught my breath here, but it's kind of unfortunate. Throw in front of some pros and then throw in front of a group of locals who have played this course a million times. My pressure to perform was, uh, was pretty high to say the least. So I uh, threw several bad shots. We'll make it up here though. We'll be all right. A little Texas flip. A little 15 footer. No brainers. Oh, feels good. Oh my gosh. First one's the one that counts. Round officially starts now. I've caught my breath. I've got some separation. We're on hole 11 here, 380 feet. Doesn't really show it on the tee time. Looks like it's kind of gradual dog leg right. We're gonna go destroy it here. Nice overstable. Try to punch it flat down the middle. See what happens. Oh, well, that might be really good. Heard a little bit of foliage, so we'll see. Outside chance for birdie here. I'm gonna give it a little anti jump putt, see what happens. Good stable. Ooh. All right, I've been dreading this hole the whole time. I was hoping my score was gonna be a little bit better so I could compensate for this hole, but we're on hole 12 to 1,050 feet. It's, I mean, name of the game is fairway. Doesn't matter how short you are, it's fairway. Cause if you're off, it's just absolute jail everywhere. It's probably, I would say close to 400 to get around this bend. And then like, you gotta cross a little ravine kind of, yeah, ravine. And then it's up like another probably huge hill, like another probably 300, 350 feet. Probably more, I feel like my math is off there, but it's a long ways. If I end up par in this hole, if I get a five on this hole, you have to like, comment, subscribe on this. Comment something like hashtag Cam is the goat, maybe uh, for par in this hole. Oh my gosh, that was sick. Gross. We're gonna see where that skipped, but that very well could be driving my life. I don't think I've ever pured anything or hit a gap the way I meant to like that before. So that was, that was sick. I landed in an insane spot. Uh, basically just gonna try to do that again. I think I might go something more overstable than this. Make sure it fights, cause I'm kind of tight on the trees. All right, we're gonna stable up to the captain's raptor and go a little shorter. I just wanna make it across and then kind of be on the flat so it's an easier throw up the hill. Get over, get over, get over, get over, get over. Oh my gosh. I don't know, something special is brewing right now. All right, I'm playing this hole like an absolute madman. I think I'm gonna play this safe. I'm just gonna do another chip forehand up to the top of the hill, then hopefully throw up, tap in five. Oh no, that's gotta get down. Give me a kick. Not that way. It was a very short lived dream, but we'll always have those first two shots, huh? I think you can see me. I got off the fairway here. I think we're just gonna pitch out to the middle. Take our medicine, unfortunately, and probably bogey. Pitch down, so I threw one, two up, three in the woods. This is four. Unless it goes in. Oh my gosh, might be deep. All right, I think you can see me from there. We're in a little deep, very makeable putt though. Finally, I made a good one. Come on. No, uh, no, I just did my math on the way up here. I got a bogey, so I threw one good, two good, three in the woods. My four was out, five was up, six was putt. Dang it, if you don't mind, could still, uh, could still subscribe if you really wanted to. I've played on several pro tour courses before, played several championship level courses. 
I don't think there's near as much walking in between holes as there is on this course. I feel like everywhere, head's on a swivel because I literally have no idea where the next, next tee box is at. It's my only beef with this course. My beef also is that it's hard, but that was expected. I didn't expect to be like crazy hard and do so much walking in between. It is what it is, I guess. Uh, hole 12, took a bogey. Man, I was firing. First two shots were great. Third shot, stupid, in the woods. Pitch out, up five, tap in, well tap in. Good putt, six. Uh, brings us to hole 13, coming down the home stretch here. 653 feet, I believe it's par four. It is, it looks like it's pretty straight and then eventually dog leg left at the corner. Looks like you got some OB water to carry once you get down the corner, but we'll worry about that when it comes to it. Might go backhand because I would rather bail off to the right then end up way left, even if that does sacrifice a little bit of distance. So we're, I've got a pro destroyer, super flippy guy. We're just gonna put on a ton of hyzer, see if we can't just get somewhere out there in the middle. And that'll stink and do, holy cow. Digging the course, not playing great, but as a uh, 917 rated guy, this is uh, probably about what I would expect. If not, maybe a touch better. I really don't know what uh, amateur tournaments you know, are playing out here. All right, drive. Kind of primo for uh, how my uh, backhands usually go. We're gonna go chip forehand again, try to hit a little sneaky gap. Uh, should funnel right down and then pitch over. The water and take our four. <sighs> That's gonna be perfect. I'm playing this hole, I think, exactly how it's supposed to. Just kind of one more shot to execute here. Just a little chip forehand up there. And dig. Sometimes, this is the hole that keeps you coming back. So there's always a shot, it just feels good. You know, it keeps you coming back. I think it might've been my tee shot on hole 12, or just the entire way I've played this hole. Loving everything about it. Par would be cool if I got rewarded with a birdie, but not there. One last shot here. Let's take a par. Love to see that, man. I absolutely love the way I played that last hole. Uh, good shot, good shot, up shot, putt. That's disc golf. That's the way it's meant to be played. And that's about the only time I've been playing this whole time, I feel. All right, hole 14, par 5, 893 feet. Looks like it's... Uh, probably 350 to 400 and then like dog leg left. It looks like pretty hard. Probably another probably another 400 450 I think we're gonna go back to the forehand here because I want to finish on the right side I think it opens it up just a bit more in case I go early and fade left <laughs> it Ended up on the left side all right, new goal. We'll see if it sticks. I'm on hole 14, so I got 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I got five holes. I'm eight up right now, if I've been doing my math right. I'm eight up. I'm gonna try to keep it below 10. Pretty lofty goal. I'm feeling good. I'm throwing good right now on this back nine. So we'll see. All right, I actually got kind of a cut roll back to the middle of the fairway. Not bad here. There's kind of a shadowy spot that I want to hit. I'm just gonna throw like a medium kind of baby flex and see if I can't get right in the shadow where I want it. Ah. Knocked down short. I think I should be in a fine spot though. Insanely tough spot here. I kind of have either a backhand, hyzer, or I have like a forehand that I can kind of put on some ante and get it turning that way and maybe flatten out, but that one's a little touchier. I think this is shot three. I think I'm gonna try to get a par here. So I'm just gonna go backhand hyzer, I think. Hopefully have something to pitch up and then uh, take a five. Get off that tree and it'll be good. All right. Not a lot of forward progression, but I'm in a good spot. All right, I'm not too sure how far I've got into the basket, but it's a little over 200, between 225 and 250. So I think I can I can get the justice there. I probably should, because if I go deep with the Raptor, then it's just gonna be all kinds of bad. Let's try not to hit this tree here. Some nice hard on hyzer. Oh, stupid tree. Uh, I got scared of that stupid tree that was right there. 
I just can't put it all together. I'm so close to putting it together and I just can't. Ah, I think bogey's pretty normal on this hole though, so not terribly mad, but that 10 up, it's getting substantially harder. Same shot, same disc into the basket. Let's get a bogey here. Get around that. And we're all right. All right, now that I'm walking to the green, it definitely was a Raptor shot, something higher speed, because I did not get close. Granted, I got knocked down, but I still probably wasn't even getting in circle with the justice. All right, unfortunate bogey. One of the par, that would have been a really good par. Nine up, hole 15, 650 foot par four. Just long, straight tunnel shot. It's gonna be a big shot for me. Approach into the green. Maybe, I say, I've said this so many times, maybe a birdie, I don't know. Uh, oh boy. Just fine. All right, not a great lie here, kind of downhill. Would have liked to be in the middle. I'm just gonna go straight and try not to hit anything. That was uh, not very bad. That was uh, like 90% what I was trying to do. I didn't want as much Anheuser. It seemed to work out for me. Looks like we're gonna take another par. 10 up, still in reach. 10 up's the side goal. 17's the main goal. Decent little scramble par. Uh, we're on 16, 330. Downhill, looks really sweet. Doesn't look like there's any OB anywhere. So you just gotta throw a really straight shot. I'm gonna go Undertaker. Play the right side of the fairway. Something that turns, fades back. Come out. Oh! Hit it short, it looked good in the air. Got knocked down by one of these guys, but I landed in a really good spot here. I just got a little, little, I got a long jump putt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see you kind of close to the edge, so. A little scared, but I just want to get it up there. <sighs> Come on. Oh. All right. Uh. Oh. All right, three there to stay, nine up. Hole 17, 320 feet. I'm pretty sure Andrew Presno, hometown hero, has aced this hole if I remember correctly. I feel like I've seen that somewhere. Uh, you just got a couple trees to miss in the fairway. Looks like there's OB long. Nothing short, OB uh, left, but should be fun. All right, we're gonna go stable destroy here. Just a little touch of Annie. See if we can get her around here. <laughs> Off the back wall, kicked back in. Birdie chance, let's go. I think the OB is all the way to the wall. Cause I hit and kind of came back. If there's a gap, I definitely could be OB and that would be incredibly sad. I am in the furthest bit of OB. I can't even take relief. I don't, Oh yeah, I can. Yeah, let's go this way. Two, three. All right, I got a straddle look here. Oh, and three. Birdie chances are not likely, 10 up, still likely. All right, this is it, hole 18, par five, 1,040 feet. Absolute bruiser to finish on. Uh, I just need five though, just need five, and uh, we're good. I think there's OB like right off the tee. Uh, you probably gotta get about, mm, probably close to 300 to get past that, and then you're good if you go right, but you gotta beat that first, and then just long the rest of the way. That's all I can say, I'm tired. That destroyer is doing absolutely amazing work for me. I'm beat. I'm tired. This course is insane. I'm super stoked I got to come out here, but man, I got beat up. Uh, would I play it again? Absolutely. Am I gonna be here for the turn? No. All right, I think a little bit further and I would have been closer to the FBO team but I got hit by this last guy, but uh, we're gonna go kind of Anheuser forehand, similar to what I threw on 17. Same disc and everything, and just see if I can punch it through the gap and get out to the open. Yeah, skip. 
Oh, maybe too much. We're out there, we'll see what happens. All right, I think you can see the top of the basket right there in the middle. I can't hold it still. Good shot here. Gets us a chance at birdie. It's sitting probably, I would say close to 100 feet over the hill. You gotta crest the hill, but we'll see. Might be really good. Get down and stick. And now we see if it rolled. Oh my gosh, looky here. Who would have thought hole 18 is gonna bring the first birdie of the round. Let's go, first birdie, eight up to finish. We beat our goal of 17 up. We beat our secondary goal of 10 up. That is decent golf today. Decent golf, we love it. All right, if you guys enjoyed that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm on the move, Cameron's on the move. I'm everywhere and I'm nowhere at once. It's crazy, it's fun. All right, this was Northwood Black, finished eight up. We got the first major Champions Cup, first major of the year going down this weekend. Uh, we got a lot of stuff coming on our side. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I was talking about this to the moon. We'll see ya.